Hello again, and welcome to this course overview lecture. I have one favor to ask of you, and it's that you don't skip this section of the course. I know it can be very tempting to jump straight to some Python content, but we cover some really important and helpful things in this lecture. Mainly, we're going to be discussing how to approach this course and how to get help during the course. First off, in case you didn't catch it in the previous welcome video, I want to make really clear that this course is going to be pretty different than any other course on Udemy. I wanted to try to make learning Python as engaging and as fun as possible. So there's a narrative story that goes along with this course, and that includes seeing videos of actors and characters. I hope that this story helps give you context for the different tasks you're going to be learning. I've tried to build elements of the story so it feels real, including building real websites, emails, maps, and more, all to serve the story. However, I do understand that this approach isn't going to be for everyone, especially if you already know some Python and maybe just want to quickly jump into a particular topic like learning web scraping of Python. This course is also designed to be modular so you can skip around to different sections if you want. But if you are a beginner, I would really recommend you start from the beginning, follow the narrative, and I believe it will make your entire experience more memorable and enjoyable. Now let's discuss getting notes for the course. We will mainly use a notebook system during the course for typing out code and sharing notes. Every single lecture has a fully explained notebook with example code and text. Basically, you pretty much also have a full book along with this video course. For example, let's take a quick look at what these notebooks look like. Here's what the course notes look like, and you can see that there's folders and they're numbered basically by section, so you can just take them in order, or you can jump to certain topics if you're not really following the narrative story. But the basic idea behind these notebooks is that they provide you an environment where you can run code and see detailed text. For example, when you start off the Recruitment Trials Bootcamp, you'll get files that look like this, and then if you click on one of them, it'll have information here that you can read about creating strings, and then it'll also have code. So you can see here that there's text that's explaining what's going on, as well as code that you can run and play around with. And I think personally, this is one of the best ways to learn Python. We'll be discussing in a lot more detail how these Jupyter notebooks work, how to create your own notebooks, how to open these notebook files. But I just wanna make it clear that for the majority of the course, we're going to be using this environment that allows you to have both explanatory text and code. And every single lecture is going to have a notebook related to it. During the course, we'll also show you how to work with text editors such as Sublime Text to create standard Python scripts. And every notebook can actually be easily saved as a .py script or many other formats, including HTML. The three forms we provide the notebooks in is a zip file that you can download straight from this lecture. You should see a little blue pop-up as you're viewing the lecture saying that there's resources available. One of them is a zip file of all the notes and files that we use during the course. Another one is an NB viewer link where you can just view the notes and download notebooks one by one. And then there's also a GitHub link where you can view the notes, fork the repo, make pull requests in case you want to add stuff. And you can even download all the notes as a zip file directly from the internet in case for some reason you can't connect to Udemy. You can check the resource links in this lecture for all the links for the three forms. Basically you have three different ways of getting it to download all the notes onto your computer. Now, finally, how to get help with Python. It's really easy to get stuck or make mistakes, especially when you're learning a new skill or programming language. So I wanna quickly talk about the fastest way to get help during the course. First, I would always recommend that you do a Google search for your error, because really about 90% of the time, someone else has the exact same error as you, and the first link on Google is an answer to that error. Or even if it's not an error, if it's just a question on how to do something with a list in Python, or maybe how to do a particular task in Python, just Google searching that task, there's almost always an answer already for you. So that way you don't even need to wait for a response from us, there's an answer ready to go on Google. Now, if you need something a little more technical, a little more specific, you can search a website known as Stack Overflow for Python questions, and you can even ask questions there. And often, when you do a Google search for a Python-related question, the very first links are going to be Stack Overflow links. And Stack Overflow, it's basically a website where people ask programming questions, and then other people answer them, and answers get upvoted if they're useful. Now, let's say you have course-specific questions. Maybe you want to have a more detailed question on a particular lecture, something that doesn't really make sense to Google search or search on Stack Overflow. What I would recommend doing first is searching the Q&A forums already on the Udemy course. It's likely that other students have maybe had a similar question to yours, and that way you can quickly find an answer. 
Now, if you've tried all these things and still can't find an answer, that's absolutely no problem. You can post your question to the question and answer forums, and please include as much detail as possible, including what you've already tried, maybe links you've already visited, screenshots, and any other useful information. And that will really help us respond and reply to your question uh, quicker and in a way that's useful to you. Now keep in mind, for any issues related to the Udemy platform, if you're having issues with video playback buffering or payments with the course or how to get certified with the course, please contact Udemy support. You can email them at support at udemy.com or you can just open a support ticket at the support page. For issues related to the Udemy platform, they're the best contact for that. Now as far as how to approach this course, there's basically two different types of learners. Well, three really. There's the faster and maybe sometimes more experienced learners. There's kind of middle of the road learners and then there's the steadier learners. For people who are more experienced with programming and Python, and maybe you just have taken a lot of online courses and you're really fast at learning them, what I would recommend doing is that you review the notebooks before the videos and just see if that's enough for you. You can usually just read and scan the notebook faster than watching the entire video. And if you already get the idea from reading the notebook, maybe you just want to skip the simpler videos. So you can kind of jump around or go forward using those notebooks. And what I would also recommend if you're a fast learner is maybe watch the videos at a faster speed. You can always watch them at 2x speed. And in fact, um, personally, I always watch courses online at a faster speed. And it's usually because the instructor has kind of a steady tone when they're reading out the code. So I like to watch it at 2x speed. Now, for people that are kind of steadier learners and you go a little bit at a slower pace, what I would recommend is that you watch the videos alongside with the notebooks. That way you can hear the explanation that's being given to you through the screencast. And you also have the code right there beside you in the notebook format in case you want to copy and paste and make sure you don't have any typos. So use really the notebooks as an extra resource to the videos. And optionally, you can also slow down the videos. I tend to speak at a pretty steady pace, but sometimes it's a little fast for people, um, or maybe English isn't your first language, so you can always slow down the videos as well, or you can also read along with the notebooks. So you have lots of options here, and if you're kind of middle of the road between faster and steadier, you can mix and combine whatever strategies work best for you. And lastly, but most importantly, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for enrolling in this course. I really appreciate every single student that enrolls in these courses, and I'm so happy that you've chosen me to be your instructor for Python. All right, the next lecture after this is just a text article lecture of frequently asked questions, so you can have a quick access to useful links. But after that, it's the course, so we'll see you there. Thank you again so much.